Hello, my name is Marilene Berlin. I'm living in Luxembourg. I am a Living Your Design Guide. I am a generator with sacral authority, a 6 2 left angle cross of obscuration. And I have been asked to do a video or a sharing about my human design experience so far. And I decided to do a video here in the forest, which I like very much near my house. So who am I? Just sharing my chart very quickly. So you can see I'm a storyteller and therefore I don't know how long this video will be, but let's see. So my human design journey started in 2017, December 2017, when I got my first reading and I was astonished about the accuracy of this reading. I didn't understand how on earth the person which looked at my chart could explain so well what I felt inside of me and which nobody knew. So in February 2018 I started with the LYD classes and finished with the LYD guide class in December 2019 and from there on I was a living your design guide and May last year, May 2022, I started the analyst training with PTL1 which I finished two weeks ago so I have my first year of analyst training behind me and I wanted to share a bit about the experience now being on my sixth year of deconditioning and I can only say that starting the analyst training last year really helped me a lot to understand what was going on. The deconditioning phase has for me several important stages. I would say the first two years of the deconditioning period you learn how it feels to follow your authority. For me it was really a learning process because my authority is partially unconscious so for a long time I took decisions with my mind and I didn't know that actually I had to follow my gut response. So I had to learn what it meant to follow my gut response. And it took me two years to really understand how two years how to how it felt like. Because your mind, when you start to follow your inner authority, your mind cannot grasp it. It's something really completely out of range for your mind. Your mind is telling you things, basically it's telling you the contrary most of the time of, in my case, of what my gut response is telling me. So the two first years of my deconditioning period, it was learning about how it felt to take decisions with my gut response. And then starts the first, the third year, the third year and in my experience <laughs> the real challenge starts then because at that moment you are becoming more and more aware of your not self and in my experience the not self is also starting a little kind of a battle trying to drag you off of this journey following your strategy and authority especially if you consider that we are 90 percent if we add projectors and generators together we are 90 percent who are here to wait we generators we are here to wait and to respond. 
projectors are here to wait for the recognition and the invitation. So 90% of the population is here to wait, but the outside world pushes you to initiate. And perhaps you have spent most of your life trying to initiate things out of your not self and then comes a moment where when following your inner authority your mind your not self mind has not the lead anymore and there starts a battle because your not self mind is telling you things in my case like you have to do you have to start i have a hanging 42 uh, looking at the defined root center without the 53, the gate 53, the gate of beginnings. And my mind is always there. You have to start, you have to initiate, you have to do something. But I am here to wait. I am here to wait that something comes my way to which I can respond. And this battle, which I call the not-self battle, <laughs> in my case, started really for me beginning the third year of the conditioning, where I had really a period of big questionings, what am I doing, um, is it the right way? Um, it was uncomfortable. It was really, really uncomfortable. So that was the third and fourth year of the condition. And then I started my PTL one training. And I must say that it was so helpful to have gone through these first years, the first middle of the seven years of the conditioning before starting my PTL, my analyst training because I could go into classes and asking questions about what is happening to me. Why am I feeling so lost sometimes and understanding that actually it was just a part of me which is letting go of my not self. Because human design is a journey back into your body. And if you have started the journey of human design, perhaps you are a person who has been a lot in his mind for most of the part of his life. It was my case. My only conscious channel is the 1156. So I basically think that I'm a mental projector. I love studying. I love my mental processes but always they didn't help me when I had to make decisions and I didn't understand it. So there might be big, chance, big chances that you are coming into human design and that human design speaks to you because you are at the point in your life where you don't know how to move on because what your mind is telling you is not working anymore. And human design is a process which brings you back into your body. When we start the human design journey, it was my case and that's something I observe around me. When we start the human design journey, we are so amazed by this system that we are like yeah i want to learn i want to learn more let me let me read books let me take any session i can take let me do classes yes i want to learn more 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 and these were my two first years i immediately started with the lyd guide training for semesters and it was a lot in my head feeding my mental processes, my mental awareness, and at the same time experimenting with my sacral authority. But most of it 
played out here in my mental awareness, in my mind, in learning. And then when the, the classes stopped, I didn't decide, well, I hadn't any response to continue right away with the analyst training. Now I know why. You start the experimentation, but you, you experiment with your body. Your inner authority is in your body. For those who don't know human design yet, your inner authority is the mechanism on which you can rely to make decisions in your life. And this mechanism is in your body. So even if at the beginning I grasp the system with learning, with my mind, with why I know I know that this, I know that it's amazing. I am a 6'2, I am a role model, I am a storyteller, I have the 360, I'm here to mutate, that's amazing, I know my purpose in life. No. I didn't know. Because the journey started really after the LOID guide training. When I was sitting alone and knowing that I couldn't initiate. What does that mean? Not initiating. Not initiating means that you wait for a generator. You wait that something comes. And when there's no question, there's nothing to respond to. You have still your daily business, like what I'm going to eat. You open the fridge and then you respond to something which is in your fridge. But for big, decisions in your life, where I'm going to live, where what I'm going to do uh, for a living. If there are no questions, if nothing crosses your aura, you are sitting at home only knowing that you have to read and to respond. And your mind at the same time continues to be there you are deconditioning your not self mind. It won't stop. It's not because you know what it is, how you, you, it's not because you know what is your inner authority that your not self talk will stop. It will be there and you have to pay attention to it to be aware of it because initiating for me as a generator at this at some time of the deconditioning phase will always be the easiest way because it takes away pressure but it's not the correct way and I know it because during my human design experimentation period I have played with my sacred authority for decisions which weren't so important. I was like, okay, I have now this feeling. I'm not quite sure if it's a yes or no. So let's see. Now I stopped that. I cannot play with my authority anymore because I know it's a yes or no. And if it's uh, I don't know, then it's a no. And if I take a decision which is incorrect, I am sick. My body is sick. Human design brings you back in your body. Human design teaches you, if you do these experimentations, te teaches you that the only authentic way of living is in your body. Not what the voice here is telling you. You know this if you have done the LYD class, you know this image of the vehicle, the driver and the passenger. Your personality is the passenger. Your vehicle, this body, has the knowledge. But your mind cannot grasp it. Because everything which is defined in your design 
is there and your mind won't pay attention to it. Your mind pays attention to your openness. And that's the challenge you are facing in the seven first years of deconditioning because after the seven years you have another seven years and within your deconditioning phase you have your Saturn return, your Uranus opposition, Chiron return, Saturn return. You have lots of changes going on in your life and the only thing you can trust is your strategy and authority. And becoming, <laughs> becoming friends with the mind which is talking to you all the time. Trying to drag you away from your, from your vehicle. I mean, a passenger is a passenger. You are not driving. And that's what I'm no noticing now in my third phase of deconditioning. I have five years behind me. I am now in my sixth year. And I'm learning now that I'm not driving. I really have to surrender. My body knows. And there's no way that I can know what my body knows. There's a driver and I have to sit back, fasten my seat belt on and enjoy the ride. And next to me is sitting my mind, speaking to me, oh, you should turn left, oh, you should turn right. And I am fixated on the driver. Therefore, I was so thankful that I could start my PTL 1 training when I was starting this deconditioning phase, this phase in my deconditioning phase, because I had support. And I could understand where where my not self dragged me to which places of my design my not self pushed me to which places of my openness my not self pushed me human design is really an experimentation and i can only encourage people to do the trainings no matter if you want to become a prof professional analyst or if it's only for yourself. The important thing is that you listen to your inner authority. If you feel asked to do the trainings, if you feel invited to do the trainings, if it's correct for you, Because there's so much power in this knowledge. When you take it really as a knowledge to understand the mystery of this life. Because through learning who you are and how and learning who you are is nothing more than trusting your inner authority and strategy and observing your not-self mind. Learning who you are will bring you, or observing who you are, will bring you self-love. It will bring you self-love because you will start to see the wonder which is residing into your vehicle you will start to see, to experiment, you will start to experiment that actually there's a beauty in your inner authority. 
that your inner authority is full of satisfaction, success, peace, surprise. And that when you start to, to honor your inner authority, suddenly you drag into your life things you couldn't imagine before. For me, it was really important to n not rush with the trainings. Also, give myself time to really feel with my response if it was the correct timing. And also, when I was doing the trainings, there are certain things I couldn't grasp. So I just waited. I really encourage you to, if it's correct for you, if you feel uh, invited, to, to do the official trainings of human design at your own pace. There is no rush. Your mind will always tell you there is a rush, you have to hurry. There is no rush. There's a perfect timing for everything. Because in the trainings, I did trainings with, with a person certified by the International Human Design School. In the trainings, it's not only trainings, it's also support in your exper experimentation. Therefore, it's important to do it with persons which get the best, which have done the experimentation phase, the deconditioning phase, which have done the official trainings, because they are the best ones to support you. I think I am clear now. I have said everything I wanted to say about my experience in human design, with human design. You can find more information on the website of the IHDS school, ihdschool.com, about human design. And I hope that this video was knowledgeable for you and I wish you all the best in your experience. Bye!